because it literally freed him from those self judgments, from those judgments of the situations around him that were causing him to go into that dark place. Right. Right. It, yeah, it's the most incredible. I mean, I mean, there's a set of three books and it, it is the most incredible. The, uh, the audible book um, is very condensed, but he told me he listened to that audible book like 12 times over and over. And each time he said he heard something new. So there's, oh. you know, we have things like this with people that have actually had, you know, spiritual downloads and access uh, Neville Goddard. He has some of the same things, you know, but, but the conversations with God is really for today is really helps you through some of the things that are going on today to help you release the judgments basically and just just be right and that's where it's hard for us to do is is for us to to just be to go back to the inner child which is the soul or the spirit the soul is is our inner child and yeah. you know yeah. it's hard to go back because you know we have all these programs that if someone acts a certain way it must be this you right. see the judgments right away right right whereas if we if we actually could feel them if we actually could feel into their soul and hear what they're saying, I have a, I have a, a plaque on my wall here and it says, uh, people need loving the most when they deserve it the least. Oh. And a lot of times when somebody does hurtful things, they're actually crying out for love. They're actually crying out for somebody to help them on a spiritual level. You know, you, you say something very interesting. Uh, we got into a topic. Uh, a few of us got into a topic in regards to that uh, yesterday. Now, when you said the people that hurt the most need the most love. Um, you know, a lot of people have a problem with that. And I, I, I'll be honest, that's been a struggle for me. Uh, because sometimes... And I guess this it reminds me of the story of the uh, the prodigal son. And mm -hmm. so, uh, sometimes when you see you see people who you feel aren't as disciplined or are wasting their lives away, they get a lot of sympathy. They get a lot of leniency. Uh, people empathize with them, but the person who uh, who seemingly seemingly has it all together hasn't uh, seemingly made a lot of mistakes or doesn't have any apparent addictions or anything like that uh, pretty much has it together seemingly if they hit a roadblock or stumble they don't get as much leniency or understanding and I've I've always struggled with that. Uh, I really have. I've always struggled with that. And I think a lot of people struggle with that. And so, uh, you know, so what What are your thoughts on that? How, how do we, I guess, to get past that, we just got to, we got to release, you know, how do we get past that? Well, let me ask you a question. Do you believe that some souls come here stronger and some souls come here on a on a weaker level for growth? I can believe that. Yeah, if I believe this is a school and I believe in, in reincarnation, uh, yeah, I, I got to believe that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So in that case, doesn't it make sense that the ones that have it all together, as you're saying, or they know, or they aren't those the stronger souls that are literally kind of expected to lift up the weaker ones or to, I don't know. It's just a thought that came to me as you were, as you were speaking. Right. I mean, that makes sense. But I guess when we get into our, <laughs> I yeah, I mean, it makes sense. But when we get into our feelings and the ego, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we get blinded. Yeah. I guess, but, yeah. We're but, just like, it's not fair. Right. Right. <laughs> right. right. Like, fair. like, oh man. Yeah. Like the son that did the right thing in the prodigal son story, you exactly. know, yeah. yeah, he, he was the same way. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So that's, that's well, something. And, and the thing yeah. is, is if everybody was whole, if you're whole, you don't need a, uh, any healing. Right. <laughs> I mean, right. I don't know, you know, everybody has growth to do, but definitely there's people that need more healing than others. And so 
naturally in nature there would be those that are the healers that are there for that right right but now when when you know those of us have down times you know you do tend to feel really alone because you're expected to be the healer <laughs> right <laughs> you know what it, i mean it, it, exactly <laughs> you're, you're the you're the go-to person exactly and so yeah, so when you hit yeah. a rock then you're just like whoa but right. you know um i found that that it is really hard to read when you hit a rock it's hard to relate to somebody just because you've been there all your life you're the one that's been the giver or the healer and i think that that's natural i don't think that's unnatural i think that just you know whether male or female there's people that are here as healers and people that are here as you know souls that are here to be raised and uplifted and to heal at, at a deeper level i agree I but agree. I've, I've found that nature is the best healer. When you when you are a healer and you need healing, you go back to mother nature and that's where you get your healing. Right. You ground. I mean, go on, go camping, go out, sleep outside. You do something like that where you really, really ground yourself into nature. Personally, I found that that's like the most healing you can do because um, if you're here as a healer, it's a little hard for somebody to heal when you hit your rock, your hard spots. Right, right. <laughs> you know, I agree. I agree. 